What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about tuners and if they're really worth it. Now in particular, I'm going to be mentioning and talking about the K-Tuner tuner for your Honda or Acura. So if you guys have a car, you're guaranteed going to you know, consider modifying it. And one of the modifications that you can do that's very popular and you get great results with is an engine tune. So it will calibrate and it will give you so many different other kind of parameters that you can control and adjust, uh, like your red line, your fuel, your ignition, like literally everything you can adjust with a tuner. So let me back this up and let me talk to you about what the difference between these are. So the K-Tuner, the first V1 that I had, was essentially just an OBD2 dongle. It would essentially just let you hook up your car up to your laptop and from there on K-Tuner's website you could download their software and tune your vehicle. You could change a whole bunch of stuff and you can get the exact same stuff with this new V2 but the main difference is something else that's included in this kit and that is this amazing LCD screen. So this LCD screen that you guys see right here is what is included and it's the biggest difference between the V1 and the V2. So you can see it's extremely fast. It responds quickly and if you compare this to the OEM design of the analog gauges, look at how much faster the LCD is. It is fantastic and there are so many different things you can adjust and control in here. So if you tap the screen, you can change the layout, you can change the gauges and you can make it look like almost anything that you want. So these, these right here are some templates that are included. It, let's say I want this one here. So it's gonna go from this and it's gonna load the new one. So you can see we have the RPM here, same as up here, the air fuel ratio, the map sensor, engine coolant temperature. You can change each one of these parameters as well. So let's say we wanted to switch out Oh, we got to click the middle of the screen, layout, text item one, which is this one here. You can choose something else. Let's say that we want uh, gear. So this will tell us what gear we're in. If you're in neutral, it will automatically assume one, but you can control so many different things with this kind of unit. You'll also note up top that there's five little holes. In each one of those holes, you'll be able to find an LED. You can control not only the brightness, but also the color of each one. So once you hit VTEC at 5,000, one light will come on. Then at 55, another. Actually, instead of just me telling you, let me show you what I mean. Pretty sick, huh? So the biggest difference between these two is the screen. Now there is a difference in price between the V1 and the V2. So I had the V1 and I paid 450 bucks for it. They offer an upgrade where you can send in your old V1 and they will send you a V2 at a cost. Or you can choose to purchase the V2 straight out at 650. So for the difference in 200 bucks, do you think that having that LCD screen is worth it? I think absolutely. You can also upload multiple tunes to the K-Tuner itself, and then when you're driving or you wanna change the tune in the car, you can stop the car and upload a different map to your vehicle. You don't have to plug in another computer, you don't have to have anything else other than the K-Tuner and the little cord that comes included with this. So if you guys were to open up this kit, you're gonna have the screen, you're gonna have the cable that leads from the K-Tuner to the OBD2 port, and you're also gonna have a USB to K-Tuner cable. I think it's a micro USB but you're gonna have all this stuff included and this is everything you need to not only tune the car, but you can also have it so that you can put multiple different configurations and maps on the unit. So let me show you what it looks like when you have this on your computer. So first things first, if you guys have a Mac or an Apple computer, you guys will not be able to use the tuning software with this. So what you have to do is restart your computer and if you guys have Bootcamp, which is a secondary boot system, you'll be able to load that up and then you'll be able to install the K-Tuner on your car. So I have K-Tuner installed and I'm holding the option key down here. And if you have multiple drives in here, you'll be able to select whichever one you want. So you can see right here, I'm clicking Windows. So once you open this up, you'll be able to load the K-Tuner software and then change all those parameters on your car. So with the USB end installed on the computer and the other micro USB port installed on the K-Tuner unit, you'll get a screen that looks like this on the computer. So to install a tune on it, you'll need to go to the top corner here where it says File, then either new tune if you want to create a new one or open tune. So if you're just starting this out, I'll click new tune. You'll click on your car, click next. 
And then you can choose whichever tune is preloaded in here as a base map, and then you can go and further that tune from there. So if you guys have a factory car with no other hardware mods, like an intake, an exhaust, or whatever, all that you would click is factory base calibration. Now if you have something else, where you have a stock tune plus intake, you would click tune one. Now if you have an intake along with exhaust modifications, you would then choose tune two. So right now, performance-wise, my engine is relatively stock. So I have an intake with an RV6 downpipe and a stock catback. So I'm going to be choosing tune one. If I had a catback, then that'd be different. I would be choosing this one. But for now, I'll click this, go to the bottom and click next. And from there, it will open up a base tune and then we can upload that to the computer. And by computer, I mean the K-Tuner. I showed you guys a more in-depth video regarding tuning your car. So if you guys want to find that video, that's going to be found in the description box. But for this video, I'm going to show you the difference between the V1 and the V2. So regardless, you're going to upload that to your computer. So either if you have the V1, it will upload straight to the car. If you click this with the V2, it will upload it to the K-Tuner. So once you click that, you're going to get something like this. Click yes. And because we have the V2, you're going to get a screen that looks like this prompting you. So you can flash it directly to the car or you can have five different presets for the vehicle on the K-Tuner. So I'm not gonna be doing this tune, but if you were, you'd click either one, two, three, or five, or this guy here, your call. You can also name it so that once you go into your K-Tuner, you can choose which tune you want based on the name. So if you have different mods like an intake or an exhaust, you can choose that tune versus a different one. So I'm actually gonna exit this right now. But the cool thing about this is the LED features that are found on top. So it was actually a little bit of a pain in the butt to find this, but if you guys go on the computer and you see this right here, top corner, LED setup. If you click that, a screen will pop up and you're gonna get something that looks like this. So you can choose many different variables for when the light's gonna turn on, the ending value, and then the warning value. So I have it so that it's green up until we hit the warning value, which is 7100. If you click on the first LED, you're gonna get a certain value. If you click on the next LED, you can program it to something else. And you can do the same thing for number three four, and five. And there's many different things you can choose from. So this is RPM, throttle position, map, engine coolant temperature, intake air temperature, and vehicle speed sensor. Be sure to click the actual LED that you're working with so that the actual K-Tuner will know which one to change. Changing these values is kind of tedious, so if you guys want, I will actually give you guys access to my LED file that I have for my car. So the LED setup that I have right here, you guys can find in the description box if you guys wanna download that and try it on your car, should you have the V2. But I also have the other two tunes for my vehicle. So intake plus 91 octane, and intake plus full exhaust. Now both these do require 91. So if you guys are looking for a, like a, an economical tune, you're not really gonna get that, but if you want performance and gains, this is where you'd go. So taking the car for a drive right now, you can see that I have in the center, I have the RPM. On the left, I have vehicle speed sensor, throttle position, air fuel ratio, engine coolant temperature, the spark for the ignition, and the knock count. So, let's go for a drive. So when you're just cruising, it's pretty much the exact same thing as your stock tack. So you can see we have the RPMs, you have your vehicle speed sensor on the left, and it runs and drives totally normal. Now, what's really cool is that when you put your foot into it and you rev the car out, you get to see more fun stuff. So not only do you get to see the RPMs and the speed, but you get to see other parameters and you can control them. You can change each one of these values for something else. So if you want to tune the car, you want to play around with it, you can see how everything is monitored and how it's behaved. Now, it's really cool that you can see all those parameters while you're driving, but what if you want to record it? If you want to see how the air fuel ratio is, or if you want to see the ignition while you're driving, you can monitor everything. So with the K-Tuner V2, you can data log in this unit. So if you go here and click on start log, you'll be able to see the little dot on the top of the corner. So if we go back, you can drive, and as long as that little flash is going on, everything that the K-Tuner sees, you will be able to see and play back later. Really cool feature with the V2, you do not get that with the V1. If you wanted to do that, you would have to plug in your laptop and have the laptop hooked up to the computer while you're driving. This here essentially removes that use. If you wanna stop, click the screen, stop log, the little corner stops flashing, and then you'll be able to save and transfer that information that's on here onto your computer to see later. You can do this on a desktop. You don't necessarily need a laptop anymore to get this done. Now let me show you my favorite part. So remember those LEDs that I was talking about? Look what happens when you get past 5,000 RPMs 
and then 55, and then all the way up to red line, we see different numbers. And then shift to second, and then it starts all over again. If your color scheme is green, you can make the tack green. If you want to make it a different color, you can easily do that as well, all in this unit. Let's say you want to make it red, light blue, dark blue, light green, dark green, or even dark orange. You can easily select them, and it will all work in the exact same way. I still can't get over the speed difference between the two. If you guys are planning on buying this K-Tuner V2, be sure to purchase the mount that I have in the description box for this. It is specifically designed for this K-Tuner, and it makes it so that wherever you want to put the K-Tuner, it will stay stationary and will not move. I've had this tuner on my curved dash panel for the last three weeks without an issue. Hot days, cold days, doesn't matter, it's staying stationary. Now I do need to find a different way to route the cable that I have leading to the OBD2 port, but that's, that's an easy fix. So there's one more thing I want to show you guys. So I know that I showed you guys the different layouts. So if you want to have, let's say, more options or more text, you guys can choose something like that that's similar to this one here. But what's still really cool is that with the setup like this, you can have multiple screens. So this is screen one. If you touch and drag, you can go to screen two, three, and four. So you can have four times six different options. You can have 24 different options in here for parameters on the go. Really sick feature if you ask me. Now I guarantee you there's countless things that I'm missing with this thing. There are so many features that are embedded in this K-Tuner that you can play around with. If you have check engine lights, you can scan them and clear them with this thing. You can play around with different tunes. You can look at literally every parameter that's built into your car. You can see it, alter it, change it, and go from there. If you guys have other hardware mods like an intake uh, or other more in-depth stuff, you will need a tuner like this. Not necessarily the V2, but the V2 is nice. You'll need a tuner in order to crack the ECU so that you can put a different base map or map on your car so if you have a really complicated engine or I don't know any kind of swap you're going to need something like this to get it done if you guys ask me if this is worth that $200 difference I would say absolutely if you guys are looking at spending either the 450 for the base v1 or the 650 for the v2 I would say save your money until you can buy the v2 and you will not be dissatisfied, I promise you guys. I have multiple friends that have this unit. I'm not getting paid to say this. I'm not getting any kind of compensation for saying this. I bought this kit with my own money and I 100% recommend it. K-Tuner, you guys did a really good job with this setup. I have more information in the description box should you guys wanna find that. Now, the main reason why I wanna put this kit inside my car and why I actually bought this is because of the other mods that I have coming up. So, can you guys hear this? This is on a stock exhaust system. You shouldn't be able to hear that. I have a pretty hefty exhaust leak at my downpipe. So instead of just replacing the downpipe or fixing um, the flex pipe that's found on the downpipe, I have a replacement one from RV6. They were awesome enough to warranty my old one. I bought it five years ago. That's some really good customer service. So if you guys wanna find their website, you guys can find that in the description box too. But I'm replacing the downpipe along with my exhaust system in the next video. So I'm gonna show you guys those quickly and I'm gonna get around to installing it. It's going to be a huge difference. I'm going from the stock cap back to an aftermarket Magnaflow one. If you guys have any further questions, comment sections down there, you guys know what to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check this K-Tuner out. You will not regret it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.